So Charles, uh, we have a great wastewater system here in San Francisco. Uh, we do about 80 million gallons of wastewater here in San Francisco, which means we basically fill up 120 Olympic-sized swimming pools each and every day wow. here in the city. We protect health, public health and safety, and the environment, because we're discharging into the bay and into the ocean. This is essentially the first treatment step here at our wastewater treatment facility. What we do is we slow down the water so that things either settle to the bottom or float to the top. You can see we have a nice collection of things floating, floating around there, mm -hmm. things from bubble gum wrappers, mm. toilet paper. I mean, whatever you flush down the toilet, whatever you dump on the street and gets into our, our storm drains, that's what ends up here at our treatment plant. That's mm -hmm. what we have to clean. You see these plastic chains right here? Mm -hmm. They uh, are the drive belts for these flights. When these tanks are full, there's a layer of scum on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And this basically pushes it through to keep scum build up from the bottom of the tanks. And on this end, in the liquid end, basically we're just trying to produce a good water product that doesn't negatively impact the receiving water so that we have recreation and, and uh, no bad impact mm -hmm. on fish and aquatic life. Mm -hmm. Solids is, okay. is what's happening. So by sludge, what exactly do you mean? Is, it, is, that, is that the actual technical term or are you... It, it's a technical term and it's used in a lot of different ways, but this is uh, organic sewage sludge. And, and uh, basically what it is is, uh, oh, maybe things that come out of your garbage disposal, things that, uh, that are fecal in nature, it's sludge that's removed from the water after the primary treatment. And then we blend those two together and send them over to digestion. This building's built to replace tanks that were built here mm -hmm. that were so odoriferous that uh, they'd curl your hair. So we've built this as a uh, interim process. So is it, there's a coagulant that's being introduced somewhere in the middle of this? And this coagulant called polymer pulls the solids together and lets the water become free to drain through. That gives us more detention time in the digestion process, more time to extract energy, more time to reduce the amount of solids. And these are the biggest ones in the world, like we always like to do in San Francisco. They're four meter, there's none like it in the world. Really? Wow. Yeah. Three meters usually, we got the biggest if not the best. So here we are. Look at that baby hum. River of sludge. One of the things is we use bacteria that's common in our own guts to uh, create this reduction. It's like an extra digestion. And one of, the re one of the things we have to do to facilitate that is heat that sludge up and keep it at the temperature our body likes, 98.6 degrees. Mm. So what we have here is a heat exchanger for digester number six. These clog up with debris and we're coming into next wet weather season. So we always come through here, clean them out, make sure that we get maximum heat exchange during uh, the colder wet weather sludge season. Okay. Uh, okay, tie back is here, rubber gloves. Oh, right here. Rubber gloves, you got two, two levels. Awesome. Okay. Excellent. All right, guys. Thank you. All right, got it. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> this is the full on hazmat. We're going to have some stories to tell. <laughs> There's still residual liquid mm -hmm. in here, so that's why we're taking our time to let it drain. Okay. We don't want to get sludged on unnecessarily. No, no. I want you to take that bolt off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take your time. Stand on the side of it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Right. Should I let it release for a while, or what? Let it bleed. Yeah. Okay. Is that the technical term? Yeah. Should I let it bleed. Let it bleed. This is the most important bolt on this whole thing. Mm -hmm. This is the locking bolt. Mm -hmm. So it locks this thing right in place. So now, this is called the slide hammer. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is that we get rag builds up, build up mm -hmm. right in here. So the hot water recirculates in here, mm -hmm. the sludge recirculates in here. The sludge ha sometimes have rags in it. Mm -hmm. All we want to do is go around and clean the rags. Let me show you how. Okay, okay. 
So you take the slide hammer, mm -hmm. you go all the way to the back, mm -hmm. and you go around and you fill the back. All right? Gotcha. So in, during the real rainy season, how does yeah. it change the way dealing with this job? Is it, is it well, a lot we, more stuff in there? Does it get really... What we do, Charles, is we do this quarterly. Mm. Like every four months, we go around and clean all the heat exchangers so that we don't have a, uh, a large buildup. Mm. So, you go around? Yeah. You're not getting so you're not like flying out, yeah. So now it's all about cleanup. Uh huh. And then where does this stuff get deposited? Well, we're going to dump it in a debris box that's going to go with Sunset Scavenger. Oh, okay. If you think back of it, the Romans came up with a system of plumbing that allowed us to use water to transport waste away from a hub of civilization, which enabled cities to grow. We have a large bowl, a scroll, and a drive motor and another motor with a planetary gearbox that sets a differential pressure inside there. It's a large mass up there spinning, separating the solids from the liquid. Well, we have to do preventive maintenance on them once a month at least. Go in there and grease them, change the oil, check the vibration levels. The operators can tell just by the hum of that machine there's a harmonic noise emitted if it's out of balance and the machine needs to be cleaned, they'll start vibrating and we have uh, uh, vibration analysis machines that will come over here and check the levels. So it's kind of an ongoing thing that you have to stay on top of on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Handled properly, you take organic residuals, as we call them, that are leftovers of our society and turn them back into some energy. Mm -hmm. And we have another ability to take that sludge and land apply it and get a nutrient value for crops there. We actually are running a kind of a composting energy recovery system. Well, this is a dirty job. We try to do it safely. Mm -hmm. And we try to do it without imposing too much on the public. People want to flush their toilets and have things go away and not be bothersome to them again. And, uh, we do a lot to try to accomplish that. I'd like to invite you to come back anytime you want. Mm -hmm. Once you got this in your blood, you're not gonna be able to stay away. The raging waters are fun, mm -hmm. and when we do digester cleaning, I really hope you can come back. That's quite a yeah, spectacle. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds interesting. So uh, I really appreciate you coming by. Oh, and it's it was pleasure. really a pleasure to meet you.